Let's talk about some stories. As you know, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend. Well, according to new research, over half of Americans say when it comes to attending a Super Bowl party, food is more important than the game. <laughs> Listen, even the greatest football teams lose, but pizza undefeated. <laughs> never lost. It's never lost. 56% of Americans say their favourite part of the Super Bowl is food, although that number jumps to 100% for British talk show hosts who don't quite understand American football yet. <laughs> I, I think I know. I roughly get it. <laughs> Everyone enjoys Super Bowl snacks, and this year, Super Bowl viewers will be enjoying what I consider the hottest snack of all, 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> That is quite the dish. Uh, <laughs> of course, one of the highlights of the Super Bowl each year is the commercials. And this year, it's been announced that each 30-second spot will cost advertisers a record $5.6 million. That's a lot of money for something that plays in the background while everyone's just taking a bathroom <laughs> break. $5.6 million. But it's totally worth it, because you remember that commercial last year? You know, you know the thing. <laughs> you know the commercial. You remember there was the, everyone was talking, you know, no, not, not the, what's that? That was like, <laughs> that was 15 years ago. The one, there was the commercial with the, no, not the Cindy Crawford when she, no, it was, <laughs> you don't remember? Nor do I. Here's my <laughs> tip, right? If you want to save money on advertising, just make a product that people who are on TV will like and they will casually mention it in, on the air in the hopes that you will one day send them some for free. <laughs> like Shake Shack. <laughs> um, <laughs> and did you... <laughs> and did you guys see this? A teenager in New York... Tesla <laughs> started a petition to move the Super Bowl from what are you what are you got what are you into oh AirPods <laughs> but the new ones not the old ones <laughs> the ones with the not just the reg we've got the regular we've got the reg we want the new ones <laughs> A teenager in New York started a petition to move the Super Bowl from Sunday to Saturday so that more people can enjoy the game without worrying about work or school the next day. So far, he has more than 70,000 signatures. Yeah. Are you in favour of this? Do you like this? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's just nice to see a bright young person channeling their energy into something as crucial to the entire planet <laughs> as the Super Bowl's ratings. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. Of course, the Super Bowl's in Miami this year, and just nearby in Florida, uh, a city in Florida is teaching elderly people self-defense techniques to ward off and fight attackers using their walking canes, right? <laughs> They're calling it Cane Kado, right? <laughs> Take a look at this. Quick! Get away from me! Get away from me! That is going to really liven up bingo night, isn't it? <laughs> Can we see some more of that tape? As for Miss Dorothy here, King Keto has been a game changer. She is really going after that dummy, but there is a good explanation. You can't see because of the camera angle, but that dummy was wearing this T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> 